What? I ran out of fuel again? This always happens. Why? Oh. Slow drivers. I... I'll show them. Yeah, that's right. This event you have just witnessed may be familiar to your day-to-day -day life. But what do you think driving like this does to our environment? With populations worldwide increasing rapidly, car emissions and global warming is on the rise. Automobiles contribute to approximately 33% of all carbon dioxide emissions. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA for short, notes that 60% of that figure comes from gasoline consumption for personal vehicle use alone. Despite numerous efforts from government agencies to reduce such emissions, people see their, the comfort and serenity of driving their own vehicles outweighing the effects to the environment. Without any commercial usable product by the everyday consumer to, counter, to counteract this problem, consumers will continue to drive inefficiently, producing carbon emissions which have been reduced drastically. The very same carbon emissions which contribute to global warming. This is our problem tree diagram. We are proposing to put a device which will be inserted into the fuel line in an exhaust of modern and older model cars. This device will connect wirelessly to your smartphone via Bluetooth. This app will talk to the user simultaneously about the car's performance, like a GPS would. The device will calculate and analyse data by the way you drive and able to suggest better driving techniques for the environment. These could include lowering revs, decreasing idling time, and improve brake usage. All this informational information will contribute to the user having lower carbon emissions. If the driver follows the voice activated computer's suggestions of better driving techniques as mentioned before, the user will be rewarded with carbon credits, which can be redeemed at local gas station for discounted fuel. We have researched other products that are similar. The only common feature that was found was a multi-purpose carbon emissions reader installed on the exhaust of cars. However, this product has not been commercialised for the everyday consumer. Due to the rise in smartphone use in the last few years, an app, as we proposed earlier, would be a better solution as the use of the product would not be as tedious as some of the other carbon emission readers that are available for only research purposes. Other traditional solutions such as biofuel and hybrid vehicles are currently too expensive for the average consumer.